What is going on guys, there's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time left off, we finally bought ourselves a silo over here, or at least, you know, we got Robin, oh, you can see her banging on the, the wood there, slowly building it up. But yeah, she, she's over here building it, I don't know how long it's going to take, it's probably going to take a couple days, to be quite honest. Uh, maybe even more, who knows, I guess maybe next week we'll have that thing finally done, or something like that. And then also we had our, uh, copper watering can, we finally had that thing done, and we did figure out, yeah, hold it down, and then boom! There you go, you could, you could water in a whole line doing that, so that's really, really good. We Oh, I skipped a hole. Well, actually, you know what? We could just do this, and boom. There you go, so we have those watered right there, too. But, yeah, I think uh, I think whenever we went to bed last night at the end of last episode, went to bed at, like, a really bad hour, so we have, like, no energy or anything like that. You guys, oh, whoops. I guess it's not that big of a deal if we water that accidentally there, but, uh, yeah, you guys said, yeah, the, the main penalty you have of, like, falling asleep passing out in your house is that uh, you have like basically no energy the next day which is good i don't actually lose any money but i'm like i don't think we have that much money to begin with right i forget either way i need to fill this up with a little bit more water there yep and fill myself up with a little bit more energy i need to go get more of that and i, I do remember you guys left comments at the end of last episode saying this corn over here has been done for the longest times <laughs> so let's let's harvest the corn there the melons those aren't done just yet we have random peppers done there though so that's good and of course every day we have hops and i think we have more corn here too yeah there we go yeah i thought the corn was going to take a lot longer to uh to be done but i guess not i guess maybe just uh, oh yeah i'm like yeah we did use fertilizer so i guess it sped it up a little bit but i didn't think it speeded up that much huh either way uh we do have a silver star corn there a silver star hops which isn't too bad i think everything else here is uh not done so i think we're good to go in that regard let's go inside real quick though i do know oh, the water my front door like we always do <laughs> but uh, I, th I think we figured out last episode that uh what was it grapes is a really good thing to get energy back so if i want to get a few of those i do want to eventually make a chest over here i think it might actually do that now because yeah yeah we, well, we have this over here which we're using basically for food and whatnot but uh uh well, how much wood do we have i did say i wanted to have a oh yeah we can get another one here no problem how do i uh yeah just hold that down and we get 50 here in just a sec we can make another chest i i do want to have a separate one for uh foraging items you know like the grapes right there and the sweet peas and the was it, uh, whatever else over here, spice berries? Uh, I want to have a different chest for, like, crops and a different one for foraging items. So, let's definitely do that right now. I guess, if anything, we could have... Where would I put this chest, though, by the way? I don't know. We don't have any room over here unless I get rid of this. There you go. Then how do I pick this up? I guess just use the axe. There you go. And I guess we could move this over here or something. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, we could put a chest over here. Uh, actually, I don't know, why Why did I break that right there? I just needed to take the items out of there and just move it over here, whatever. Anyways, uh, yeah, but we, we can put food in here. I think we have uh, regular food over here as well. I think we have, like, cookies from, like, yeah, see, we have cookies there. Pepper poppers, uh, anything else that we, oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, last episode, bought a rare seed as well. Uh, this is, like, a very rare, th very rare thing that you can get only during summertime, only during Fridays and Sundays. Uh, I think Sundays, right? Uh, whenever that one guy goes by the, uh, the wizard's like tower at like night i think is it well, i don't know if it's only I well I've, i think we've only ever gone there during the night time so that's why probably why i thought about that but i do need some uh grapes get a little bit of energy back because you get a decent amount from that right you get like uh yeah 38 energy not too bad i guess i'll just eat a few more i'm like it's just foraging stuff so we can just find it out in the open and of course we're growing some of it as well so let's get up to about half nah, that should be fine that should be enough to get our uh energy back now this is just food here i guess what else do we have here? What is this? Yeah, regular stuff there. You know what? I'll grab all that stuff. I'll just put it... I don't know if there's a way to mass grab everything from there, but uh, I guess I'll just put regular stuff up over here, like trash and recyclables and random stuff like the warp totem. <laughs> like, you know, just stuff I don't know what to do with. And then I guess this could be... for We could have one for foraging, one for crops. And I guess we could keep... I guess this one could be the foraging items. So let's do that. Let's put the hops. Let's put the corn up. Uh, and anything else that might be... Okay, sweet pea... And yeah, that. And yeah, we had part. No, wait. Uh, da yeah, daffodil, dandelion, wild horse rash, leeks. Yeah, those were foraging items as well. I think, yeah, mu oh, yeah, it says right there, forage right there, too. So yeah, I guess we take mushroom, anything that says foraging item or just forage, winter root. Okay, so I guess, I guess during the winter time, I guess we'll just find winter roots just all over the place then, huh? We'll be able to forage for those. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, oh, and then sap randomly. I, uh, I guess, I don't know, I kind of want to keep that here, it, just because it's, well, then again, we have wood here, I don't know, I'm like, if I'm going to have a crops thing, it doesn't make sense to have wood and stuff like that over here, I'll worry about that a little bit later, maybe I'll make another chest, but for right now, let's just put up all the foraging items up, 
into one chest there. We have a hot pepper there as well. I guess we'll put that up right there. So there we go. We have a good, uh, good organization going on over there. I do want to check real quick, though. Weather report. What's the weather going to be for... Oh, it's going to be sunny again tomorrow. That's good. Fortune teller. We have a good humor today. Hey, a little extra luck. No mind if I do. And the queen of sauce. Let's see. What recipe are we going to get today? Maki rolls. This delicate flavor of the ocean. Sealed within a pillowy cloud of rice. Maybe a bit wasabi for the adventurous. My mouth is watering as we speak. Oh, how I love sushi. You learned how to cook maki roll. Yeah, so that's us. We're getting a lot of recipes and stuff like that. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, whenever I brought up like, oh, where am I going to build the silo and whatnot? And uh, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to build the silo over here. If I'm going to uh, if my house is going to expand in the future and get in the way. You guys said if I if I upgrade my house, it will still say it will still be the same size. Like on the outside, I guess it only changes it on the inside, which is kind of interesting. So, either way, we have mail over here. I don't know if we got this last time. Uh, Dear Waffle, I was conducting a... Oh, wait, what? Well, we, we read this uh, at the end of last episode when he gave us, like, a Nautilus shell, and he gave us an Amethyst this time. Okay. Well, I guess, if anything, we can just give that to... Uh, oh, yeah, it is Sunday, so it's a new week, right? We can give that to Abigail, get a little bit of uh, friendship points with her, right? But let's continue watering our crops with our brand new upgraded copper watering can. Look at how much easier this is. I don't know, is it easier? I feel like like me holding down the button and having to, to stand still. I don't know, I feel like maybe I could water three crops in the same time there. Mm, I don't know. And then I, I, I could still, yeah, I could still water one crop at a time for these like random stragglers that are just kind of out like that. Oh wait, hold on. Oh man, see, this is why I want to cut down more trees. These trees were kind of blocking right there, yeah. That was something I was doing last episode as well, you guys remember. I was cutting down a bunch of trees over here because of course, I think two episodes ago, uh, we upgraded our axe to the copper axe and I was trying to cut down a bunch of heck and forest over here and I did cut down a bunch of it it's just that uh what in the world oh yeah she's still working on it over there I keep hearing those noises of her banging on the heck and silo over there hopefully that's going to be done relatively soon but uh yeah you know let, let me just continue watering stuff over here and I guess we can go look at the calendar here in just a bit I think we do have a birthday coming up though oh what in the world Wait, which way was I facing right there Hey, yep. I think we do have a birthday coming up, though, uh, and I think it was, wasn't it like the dwarf or something like that? So I kind of want to go give him some gifts, just see, like, what does he like? Does he like, like, basic foraging items, any, any like, rare things? Maybe I'll just give him, like, a tulip or something like that, you know, something relatively safe. Ah, oh, man, I feel like with this new copper watering can, watering multiple crops, I feel like because I'm not going over every square, I might be missing some stuff here, you guys. Man, like, I feel like I might be missing a crop and just because, oh, now we're out of water. I feel like we might be missing out on crops, and because I'm watering so much of them at once, I'm not really paying close attention to it, like if I was watering them one at a time, you know? Ah, I think I got all those right there, which is good. And I think we got a- oh, hold on, yeah, we have stuff on it. What in the world? We have a random radish right there. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. I think we watered everything right now, which is good. We do have uh, sprinklers right there, so don't want to forget about those. Now, I guess we'll go inside, uh, I don't know, you know what? Maybe I'll move these, these chests here, like, for, uh... Like, like crops and then foraging out. Maybe maybe I'll move those outside or something like that. Just so, you know, they're a little bit easier. I have to come inside of here, right? So, either way, uh, something else I was trying to do. Oh, yeah. Might as well fill up this. And then we'll go over here and go put it up. Uh, it's, oh, geez. It's already 2 p.m. It is Sunday. I do want to go give them something, though. So, let's put the... Uh, what was I doing? Watering can. Yes. And... Eh, I think we're good to go. Yeah, you guys said uh, I really need to like cut all these weeds and stuff like that. I was kind of waiting until this thing is done over here. Hopefully, it's going to be done relatively soon, though. But uh, I guess we'll get some gifts while we're uh, out and about. So, I guess we get hot peppers for Shane because it is a new week. I already have the amethyst for Abigail. What else do we have? Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, you know, I guess we could do the tulip, but I only have one of those. Hmm. I don't know. What, what, what would a dwarf like, right? I'm pretty sure that's the... I don't know. Maybe something like this. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe a piece of stone, maybe a piece of iron, iron ore. That's kind of what I'm thinking, maybe copper or something. Can you even gift this stuff? I've, maybe. I'll try it. I'll, I'll give him a piece of copper, just because I'm like, he's in the cave, he hangs out over there. Maybe he likes it, I don't know. And I guess while we're in the area, we need to go uh, re-energize ourselves a little bit. And go to the, uh, to the spa and get a little bit of energy back. And I guess we could use some of that extra energy a little bit later on. And, uh, you know, continue cutting down some trees and stuff like that. Especially below our farm. Where a lot of those tree tops are kind of blocking some of our, uh, like, like crop plots, I guess, to describe it as. So, let's definitely do that once we get back home. And, of course, we'll have a bunch of wood. We'll be able to make more chests and stuff like that, right? Uh, while we're over here. Oh, yeah, we do have a thing on the bulletin board. What is this? Uh, oh, well, it's obviously it's no one's birthday today. The dwarfs is on Sunday, or, uh, Monday. 
So either way, what's this one? I'm in the market for a farm fresh tomato. I'll pay you when you bring it. I don't think we have any tomatoes. I kind of want to check. I'll, I'll accept it anyways. This is for Clint, the blacksmith guy. 180 gold on delivery. I'll, t I'll accept it for now. I don't remember any tomatoes, and I'm pretty sure... Are we growing tomatoes right now, or was that spring? I think we are growing tomatoes right now. I kind of want to check the community center, because that's kind of how we... Oh, yeah, you can't do that here. Yeah, because we already finished the... Uh, was it the crops bundle or whatever? Yeah, winter for... Yeah, or... Uh, no, this is foraging. Yeah, I, I can't do uh, crops here because these are finished. I can't check up on them. Man. Ah, I was about to say, like, that's the only way I could check, but I suppose we can go down here and give it to... Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Amethyst or Abigail. We need to go over here. We need to go to the uh, thing over here anyways. Unless she's, like, up there. I know whenever, whenever we tried to find her, like, previously, she was just kind of hanging out, like, near Demetrius's house. Which, by the way, uh, we were actually getting a pretty good relationship with Demetrius. If we want to continue giving him, like, potatoes and whatever else, if I even have any more potatoes. And I even got comments from you guys last episode, like, three places. Oh, there's that green-haired person there. I forgot what her name is. <laughs> I, forget, I, I keep forgetting her name, unfortunately. Uh, but apparently I missed out on a bunch of worms last episode, unfortunately. <sighs> but I guess I'll go up here anyway, see if Abigail's up here. And if she is, we can give her on Amethyst. Continue getting some friendship points with her, which is good. I don't know, maybe while we're in the area, because we're somewhat in the area right now, we'll, uh... Ah, I don't see her right now, though. Man? Ah, I don't know where she hangs out. I'm pretty sure she hangs out there. It's Sunday... Ah, I guess, you know what, yeah. While we're in the area, let's go Let's go give the dwarf something. I, I don't know, like, does he hang out there literally in the cave, like, 24-7? Like, I guess so, maybe. But since I'm already here, I might as well just give him a heckin' piece of copper. See what he thinks about it. Hopefully he's fine with it. And... Yeah, we can still go over to... I was wondering, like, if the rocks is still... Oh, yeah, we can, can we give him, like, gold? And he's got a chest there, too. I wonder if we could interact with that, but... There's, like, gold on a table right there. Let's give him a piece of copper, see if he likes it. Oh, he doesn't like it! What?! Ah, man, well, I can't read this. Ooh, ow, nani, olahu, asinius, ano, ani. Sus, us, alanis, nani, pani. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, but apparently he didn't like that, though, so. I don't know, I don't know, maybe we can give him a flower or something like that. Hopefully he likes flowers, but. Man, at least I tested it out before giving it to him tomorrow. I, I wish we had more days to test it out and whatnot, but remember, we're only able to gift like stuff to people like twice a week, so I only have two opportunities to gift them something this week, so whatever. Anyways, I still have no idea where Abigail is. Maybe we'll give her a gift tomorrow. I guess we'll go give Shane this hot pepper and you know continue getting some relationship points with him and whatnot, but I'm gonna be, if we come across Abigail, I, I guess I'll still give her the heckin' amethyst and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, you guys did say, you, you remember last episode, I was like, oh yeah. Someone said that there was like a cave or something like that that we can get mushrooms in on our farm. Apparently we're not going to get, oh jeez, a rabbit right there. Oh yeah, and then we have good luck. I guess if we can check out the trash cans and stuff like that, but. Oh, what in the, oh hey, look at that. We got a purple mushroom right there from that can trash can. All right, well I think the uh, the community center might want that. I'm going to have to definitely check out on that, you guys. But uh, where in the world is Shane at? I guess he done, either done work today or he's already, oh, well it is 6 p.m. already, golly. Yeah, well, uh, we spent a lot of time watering our crops and whatnot. I don't know if he's going to be over here. Oh, wait, one in the world. Well, that's Penny right there. Uh, does she like sweet peas? Thank you. This looks special. Okay, I, it sounds like she's either okay with that or likes it or something like that. I, I guess she's okay with it. So that's good. Uh, whoop. okay, no one, no one cares about that. And, whoop. oh, what? Refined quartz? Oh my gosh, I'm getting some really good stuff. With, I assume that's really good. Whoop. Getting some really good stuff in the trash today, you guys. This is amazing. Oh, hey, there's Shane. Perfect, perfect. Pepper time. It, uh, no, do not eat the hot pepper. Shane, hey, there you go. Oh, wow, Waffle. How'd you know this is my fat? Why do you keep asking me that? I've given you like three hot peppers so far. Golly. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah. Speaking of the worms and stuff with like that, I completely forgot where they were. And there's that guy. We missed his birthday a few days. I guess I'll just talk to him. When you see hot air balloons drifting over the sea, you know that summer's in full swing. I think he said that before. And there's Vincent there. Hi there, mister. All right, well, at least we got a little bit of uh, talking. Oh, wait. What should I do on such a worm? <laughs> warm, lazy day, sigh. I thought I said worm there randomly. That was kind of weird. Maybe I just got worms on my mind over here, you guys. Maybe I'm infected by worms, parasitic worms sucking on my brain. <laughs> oh, we got a gold star clam right there. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, we need to fill up the, uh, the stuff with bait every time we do this. I forgot about that, yeah. Let's, uh, yep, there you go. Fill this up with some bait. Yep. 
How in the world does that work? Okay, there you go. Nice. And yeah, keep coming to the beach. Oh yeah, worms right there. Boom. A dried star. Oh yeah. You're probably going to get some really good, like, because we have a uh, better luck today. Probably going to get some really good stuff from worms, you guys. So definitely, uh, I don't know. I should probably go back to that video. See, like, the time codes of another worm right there. Nice. Let's see. Hopefully it's something good. Not like, I was about to say not like clay, but hey, there you go. <laughs> I guess you can't have it good every time, right? Even if you do have good luck. Ah. <sighs> And no, no fish like sprawling around creating a whirlpool right there, unfortunately. I don't think we have any more, uh, yeah, no more like clams and oysters and whatever else over here, corals on this over here, which sucks. But hey, we did get a gold star clam earlier, so hey, not bad air, I guess. Any more worms though? I might have missed out on a worm over here, not paying full attention. I would not be surprised. Yeah, I guess, I guess we missed out on it. Man, I don't, I don't know what to give the, uh, the dwarf guy though. Like, maybe I will just give him a tulip just because I'm like, that's such a safe thing. Like, who doesn't like tulips? But at the same time, he's a dwarf hanging out in a cave all day. Would he even appreciate a tulip? Does he even know what a tulip is? Is he going to try and eat it and be like, oh, this tastes funny. <laughs> Hold on, though. Let, let me, while we're out and about. Yeah, purple mushroom, you do need that for something. Where is that on this? It's, it's got to be quality crops, animal bundle, artisan bundle. I don't know. Where, where, where was the red mushroom? That one time, exotic for oh yeah, they're right here. Purple mushroom, perfect. Let's let's do exotic foraging bundle. Go give it to that, and then uh, we're only going to need like two more things for the exotic foraging bundle. And I'm pretty sure we'll find them within the next season or so, right? So that'll be pretty good getting that done. Any worms over here? I missed. I seem to always miss worms in like this general area. I need to keep my eye out. But uh, either way, let's go over here. What was it exotic foraging bundle? So I think foraging. I think it's up here in the pantry. Because I think the craft room. I think that's crops, right? Artisan bundle, quality crop. No, I had them backwards. Man, nah. Down here is where the four. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, because we we this was the first room, and then we had to give it to uh, foraging stuff that one time. So either way, uh, purple mushroom. Boom, perfect. Now all we need is maple syrup, oak resin, pine tar, moral or cactus fruit or a coconut, and then we'll be good to go. So. Not too bad there, and I guess when we do that, we'll get bridge repair, it looks like, right there. So, getting a lot of the foraging stuff done, which is great. But unfortunately, oh yeah, by the way, unfortunately, <laughs> cut that out of the video. Anything here that's getting, nah. Yeah, nothing, nothing here needs to be the community center, so that sucks. And I don't know where in the world Abigail is hanging out. Like, she, maybe she's in bed by now or something like that? I don't know. I'm like, I can't go to heckin' Pierre's now. I think I have access to her bedroom, so... Uh, maybe, maybe she was hanging out in there playing another video game or something like that, I don't know. Either way, it's super late, like, golly, time flew today, what in the world? I barely even did anything, I just watered my crops and it was like 2pm already. Ah, man. Ah, well, at least tomorrow's the dwarf's birthday, we'll give him something, and then I guess we can keep on looking. Oh, jeez, yeah, look at how bright it is here. And I'm sure we'll have mel- whoops. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have melons done. Oh yeah, and then there's a uh, golly, she's working on it literally all day and all night, just hammering in the same piece of wood, <laughs> just looking like she's working when she's really not. And it's coral. We we'll always sell that dried starfish. I don't know. Oh, that's a thing for the museum. I was supposed to like sell that. I guess he could sell that, but I guess we'll go give that to the museum, huh? Constantly filters water to find food. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, like if you put an oyster in like an aquarium or something like that. And it's like really, really dirty water. It like cleans it up hardcore and it's like crystal clear. That's like a thing that they do, right? And then a refined quartz, a more pure form of quartz. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I want to sell that. Then uh sell the clam, then the oyster. And I guess that's it. I'm like, I'm not really comfortable selling the other stuff there. I kinda wanna put the refined quartz up. And golly, my dog is blocking the other stuff. He's always blocking stuff though. And clay. I guess well. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about this. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Then uh, we had an amethyst there. I wanted to give the Whatever her name was as well. I keep forgetting about that. But with starfish, I guess we'll go to sleep. I don't really have any energy. I could cut down like maybe a, a tree or two and that's it. But I guess I'm going to do that real quick. Do we have everything? Uh, I guess we already. Oh, we might have worn because I know I've gotten comments of you guys saying like now that I'm clearing out a lot of uh, trees and stuff over here that I'll be able to see some worms in my actual base area or farm area. But I don't think I see any worms right now. Oh, I know. I know it's getting late. I should probably go to bed, but like right now, actually, I'll have like full energy, right? Yeah, you know, let's do it. Hopefully, hopefully going to bed. Oh, never mind. It's 1210. I was about to say like going to bed at like exactly 12. You'll still get like full energy or something like that, but I guess not. Forging uh, 75 for the gold clam, 80 for the regular coral. That just goes to show how trash clams are. Even the gold ones worth less than the coral. Uh, let's see, fishing. And then 40 for the oyster. See, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, we did get that from the uh, 
in the crab pot, didn't we? Yeah. And 195 gold right there. Not too bad. Not, not too good, though. But at least we're over $2,000. We do have enough money to upgrade another thing. I don't know what it'd be, though. I, I guess it'd be the hoe, just because I'm like, there's nothing else I could upgrade, right? See if there's anything else happening today. We have the no. Oh, I thought the melons would be done today, but I guess not. We do have uh, what is this? Is oh, this is tomatoes, isn't it? Yeah, we do have. Oh, it's a silver star though. I guess I'll go give that to Clint. That's perfect, you guys. Well, hey, look at that. I have full energy as well. Nice. All right. Well, I guess I'll just water the crops all over again. And then maybe. Oh, and then we have hops here as well. I don't know what the dwarf would like. Like, I, I guess we can give him the tulip, but at the same time, like, what? It, I don't, I just don't think a, a dwarf in a cave would, like, I, I thought he'd really like the, 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 what, I gave him copper ore? Like, uh, maybe if I gave him a copper ingot, maybe he'd like that a little bit more, but maybe the tulip is just like a safe thing? Maybe I'll give him the tulip and it's the silver star too, so hey, maybe that'll help out a little bit more. I don't know, I just don't know what he'd like. And that's kind of, that's kind of the fun of the... The, the game of, of, of gifting these people things for their birthdays that you just don't know. So you kind of have to trial and error and kind of uh, anticipate their birthday and be like, oh man, their birthday is coming up. I might as well just see what they like and then make sure I give them the right gift on their birthday and whatnot, right? But uh, we didn't really have that much time to prepare for the dwarf, unfortunately. So either way, uh, I'll still pause right now, though, just to water all the crops, even though we are able to water crops a lot faster now than previously, but uh, I'll still water the crops. I don't know, maybe I'll cut down like this tree and that tree, that tree real quick, just so we don't have to worry about them blocking the way and stuff with that, but I am really liking this new copper watering can, you guys. This is pretty good. So let me continue watering all these crops real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, man, you guys. Half energy right there to water all the crops. That's not too bad. Seems like uh, previously, even though we have a slight less crops than before, seems like previously, before the, uh, the copper watering can upgrade, we have basically no energy after all that, right? Oh, the silo's done, by the way. Yeah, I was kind of... Oh, wait, no, I'm still hearing, like, banging and stuff like that. Is she still working on it, but, like, on the inside or something like that? Yeah, you guys still, you guys still hear that banging and stuff like that, too, right? I don't know. I guess it's safe for me to, uh... I'm like, it's in the corner, so I can't see if she's still working on it, see if she's still there, but... It sounds like she's still working on it. Oh, wait, no, the... Okay, the banging I was hearing was just that thing opening and closing. Okay. I was wondering, like, what in the world's going on there, so I guess it's safe now. Actually, get the scythe and cut down all this hay over here, right? Or wheat, or what do you call this? And get a bunch of hay. Oh yeah, look at that! There's hay like appearing above my head now. Ooh, interesting, cool. Okay, so what happens? Is that that's not going to my inventory? That's that's going to the silo, right? Now, how do I collect it from the silo, though? Oh, uh, pieces of hay, eighteen out two forty. Now, how do I actually collect that, though, right? Uh, I do not know. Maybe you don't actually collect it. Maybe, maybe if you have like other structures, like maybe like if you had like, like, like horses and cows and whatever else over here, it, it, it like automatically feed them or something like that. I don't know. I, I guess maybe we'll have to worry or uh, look into that a little bit later. But for right now, yeah, look at this. We can clean out all this stuff over here, getting a bunch of hay. We can check a body here in just a minute. And yeah, we can get, we can cut down all the weeds and stuff over here as well and get whatever this is right here. The sea. Oh, yeah. This is like a maple cedar. Uh. What's that? Oh no, an acorn. Oh yeah, we have an able, uh, maple seed. I think that makes that big tree, doesn't it? Because I think we got that maple seed from a big old stump or something, huh? So yeah, we definitely get a big old maple tree growing over here sometime soon if we really want to, you guys. But for right now, I guess we'll just get a bunch of the uh, like like the tall grass over here, weeds and whatever else. We'll just cut those all down, and you know what? Keep getting maple acorns from these. And Cutting these down with the rocks and stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm like, we're heading on over to the dwarf anyways. I'm kind of getting the idea of, of heading back to the mines. What are we on, level 40 right now or something like that? Maybe, maybe we'll go back there real quick. Just kind of see like, maybe we'll get to like five more layers or something like that. Just because I'm like, there's nothing else we could really do today, it seems like, right? Other than, of course, the dwarf's birthday and we'll take care of that, no problemo. I guess we could do that. And then, uh, I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't, yeah. I think last time we were in the mines, we, we just got the level 40. We checked out, like, one or two layers of the ice, like, layer, I guess I can describe it as. And, uh, I just kind of got on out of there. And we can get, like, a bunch of crystal and stuff with that over to, there, too, right? I think I got a comment from someone, like, what, like, two or three episodes ago, whenever we actually unlocked that layer, saying, uh, whenever you do break the crystals, to break them with the sword, so it doesn't use any stamina and you don't waste any there. So, definitely want to try and do that, you guys. But for right now, uh, I'm kind of done, I guess, with all the hay over here. Like, we, if I want to keep getting more, I kind of have to cut down a bunch of trees, it seems like. I don't know. I, oh, yeah, look at this. All the, all the, hey, uh, 
or all the like weeds or tall grass or something like that that was around this log. You guys remember, like really early on in the series, like one of the first few episodes, I like used a sickle to get rid of all this tall grass around the log. And you guys were kind of upset about that because uh, I didn't have a silo at the time. Oh, I thought this would have been big enough for that piece right there because it was able to break the stumps last episode, but I guess not big enough to break the big old logs like that, which is kind of weird, honestly, but whatever. Oh, yeah, there are a couple stumps right there. I guess I can break those real quick, but uh, yeah, I have basically no energy right now. I really need to watch out, you guys. Before we go to the mines, I definitely want to go get a re-energization. Re Did I say that right? I don't know if I even say Is that even a word? Re I, I just want to re-energize myself at the heckin' spa, just like we did yesterday. Or, uh, yeah, we didn't do that yesterday, did we? I don't think so. But yeah, there are a few stumps over here. I might as well cut them down real quick. And, uh, I forget how much... Do you get a lot of wood from them, or...? I'm like, we got a maple seed that one time. I guess we'll just see. What are we going to get from this thing? Oh, yeah, you do get hardwood from it, too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, look at all these stumps right here, you guys. This is good. I don't think you really get a lot of, like, regular wood. Yeah, see, just a bunch of hardwood. You don't even get regular wood from that. Just hardwood, which is all right. Because we do need that for stuff. I think we need, like, what? Like, a hundred or something like that to get uh, some sort of upgrade for our house. So, definitely want to start stockpiling all the hardwood over here. Thankfully, we do have a good enough axe to actually start getting a bunch of that, right? But, yeah, whenever we're in the middle of a bunch of tall grass, yeah, it definitely makes... Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess we can just hold down the, uh, the left click button to to sickle, to scythe all this uh, tall grass. We have to click it every time, which kind of makes sense, but yeah, we're getting so much hay here, you guys. It's crazy. I don't know what to do with it, though, because I don't have any animals yet, and of course, we could use the hay to like like sell and get money, but I have no way of actually getting it, so I don't know what to do with that in regard, but either way, it's 4 p.m. right now, basically, so I might as well just hurry up. I think I'll cut down these two stumps real quick, and I'll just skiddly done daddle on out of here, so, uh, yep. And then, of course, we need to go. Yeah, I'm almost out of energy as well. I need to go to spa real quick, too. Get ourselves a bunch of uh, energy back. And I guess we'll just spend uh, the rest of the day in the mines. And, uh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> and we'll go from level 40, I think we're at right now. Oh, I, able to oh, I was barely able to finish that. Nice. I guess we'll go from level 40, I think we're at right now, to, to level 45. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to actually do that. Oh, whoops. That was wrong. That was a bad idea doing that right there. Because we have, like, no energy. <laughs> but I guess we'll go give the, the dwarf a, a tulip or something like that real quick. See if he likes that. And, oh, yeah, we should have gone to the, uh, should have gone to the museum. I completely forgot about that, you guys, but, uh, yep, there you go. Stack all that stuff back up, and, uh, I guess we'll put the, uh, mixed seeds up in there as well. Then we have the rocks there. Oh, yeah, then we need to go to, uh, Clint. I guess we'll do the amethyst stuff. Just get a little bit of inventory space back, right? Um, am I able to get, I don't know if I'm able to get those, uh, oh, I need a pine cone for that, don't I? Yeah, forget about that, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have a potato we can give to Demetrius, but... I don't know if I actually see him. We have a uh, hot peppers there. Do we have anything that's going to get us like a bunch of energy and stuff like that, though? Like acorn, maple syrup. We can't make the thing without a pine cone, I don't think, right? Man, I guess we can just get some of the food that we have over there. We could actually start using that, I suppose. Because we do have this over here. Yeah, like pepper poppers. But the, oh, yeah, that gives you farming, though. I guess I'll, I'll take the I'll take the cookies. Those are pretty good. Parsnip soup. Yeah, same thing there. So we have cookies. We have parsnip soup. Lucky lunch. I don't know if I want to use that right now, but uh, those those should be pretty good foods to eat whenever we are. Uh, and then we have the tomato. Uh, I'm like, this is going to take a long time. I don't, I don't know if I want to do it. I guess, you know, what? I think we have. Do we have a delivery? No, we have to go give Clint the tomato like right now. Man. All right. Well, we need to hurry the heck up, you guys. So what do I do with this heckin star? I guess I put it up over here, at least for right now. Because I'll probably check that here sometime here in the future anyways. But I guess for right now, we'll go over here. Because I know Clint closes at like, what, 4 or 5 or something like that. So he'll probably be on his way over to the saloon. We can go give him his tomato. And we'll have his mission done. And then we'll head north. We'll go to the spa real quick. Uh, Re-energize ourselves. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. And then, of course, we'll head on over to the mines. Before we actually go down into the mines, we'll go to the, uh, to the dwarf. Give him a tulip. Hopefully he's fine. Oh! A train is passing through again. I guess it's not that rare of an event, huh? Need a drink? No, I don't, but I know someone who does. Golly, she's right there. <laughs> uh, but either way, Clint, where are you at? Let me give you a tomato. A Silver Star tomato. So, hey, you better appreciate it, wherever in the world you are. Where is he? Does he close, like, right now at 6 or, or what? Where in the world is he? Hold on. Yeah, they close at 4. Where in the world did he go? He usually walks from, like... Like, it's two hours, so he should have been in there. I didn't see him in his usual spot just a second ago, so... Man. I don't know where, like, where else does he hang out, right? I'm like, it is Monday, so maybe he doesn't drink on Mondays or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, see, he usually hangs out there, and there's Shane. Ah, man. Ah, and I didn't check the luck and stuff today. I don't know where he is. 
Man, I just want to give him a tomato. We actually have the thing for him. I just don't know where he is. Uh, and I have no energy. I need to go right now. Ah, uh, man, I still want to go to the mines and stuff like that. And I, don't, I don't know where in the world these people are. Uh, all right, let's go up. I guess we'll just keep the tomato at least. Oh, wait, God, there's Abigail. I had the amethyst just a minute ago. Put it up on purpose. Uh, now I'm going to miss out on giving her the amethyst. Uh, I can give it to her some other day, I suppose. Golly. I'm probably missing out on a bunch of worms, too. <laughs> anyway, speaking of the train passing by, I guess we'll go up here. See if we can actually get a little bit of energy from the spa be before we actually go to the mines. And hopefully we won't actually end up passing out in the mines and stuff like that. Or getting killed down there or anything like that either. But I only want to go from like level 40 to level 45. So it shouldn't take too long. It's going to be like, I don't know, 830 or something like that by the time we're done here. So then once we're done with the dwarf, it'll probably be like 9 p.m. So 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. Is that enough time to go from level 40 to 45? Maybe. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> I just really wish we found Clint because I feel like we just spent like a whole entire hour trying to find him there. But yeah, it was like 6 p.m. and now it's 8 p.m. by the time we're actually at the spa. This is taking a long time, you guys. But I guess we'll re-energize ourselves real quick without having to use up any of the cookies, any of the parsnip soup, or anything like that, which is good. I don't want to waste those if, if I don't have to, but it's taking quite a while here. We just got here at 8 and it's 8.30 now. It's probably going to be like 8.40, it's probably like 8.50 by the time we're done here. Is this going to be done? Anytime soon, hopefully it is. 8.40, come on. Okay, that's about as good as that's going to get. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's speed speedrun this right now, you guys. Oh my gosh, I wonder if anyone actually does speedrun Stardew Valley. Like, that would be, like, the impossible thing, right? Do people actually speedrun this? And if so, like, how long is, like, the fastest speedrun? Like, how do you even do that? Like, that'd be kind of crazy. Is there even an end game to this, though? Because I feel like you just play this game forever. Like, there's actually no, like, end game. I, I, like, like, it's not like you farm all the crops in the universe and that's like you beat the game, right? Surely you, you just, I don't know. Oh, and there's, uh, yeah, grapes are pretty good at giving you a uh, stamina and stuff with that back. So I'll, I'll definitely take that right there. And I assume the dwarf just kind of hangs out here all the time. I, that'd be kind of weird if he just disappears right now. 930. Golly, that's terrible. Let's give him the, the tulip. Yeah, see, he's still there. Hopefully he likes the tulip, please. Oh, uh, what? Did he like that? I don't know what he just said right there. Oh, wow. Foraging. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, because we hit level five right there. We got the gatherer thing. Uh, I guess if anything, yeah, farming is getting pretty close to that. We're, we're probably going to hit level five on farming pretty soon. We'll get a skill upgrade or whatever for that. So that'd be pretty good. But uh, dwarf, there we go. He liked the tulip. Hey, don't mind if I do. Let's keep giving him tulips and stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. It seems like the tulip is like the universal. Like everyone likes the tulip. Like, like you can't go wrong with the tulip. So either way. For right now, level 40, let's go down, uh, then I guess immediately I'm 41. I'm not going to have, like, any time to go through all this stuff here, though, unfortunately. Man. There we go, break through all the stuff, get a little bit of wood and whatever else. We got bats and stuff over here, too. Boom. We got crystals here I can break with the sword, or, you know, the bug head or whatever I have in my inventory. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised we haven't gotten anything better than this, but it's been a little while since we've been to the mines, so at the same time, I'm not really too surprised, right? But either way, we got to break some stuff over here to- oh, there you go, boom, found our way down immediately, nice. Keep on breaking some crystals and stuff. Don't mind if I do. Big rocks over here, though. Break those. Break those. Anything down here? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of enemies down there. We're on level. Oh, wow. I already found the way down. Golly, that's amazing. It's 10 p.m. I'm hearing, like, weird, strange noise. Oh, my gosh. We got bats and whatever that is up there. I gotta break that. When in the world are these things? Oh, wow. We found, like, multiple pathways down. Nice. There you go. Bats. Boom. Murdered. What in the world are these little critters? We got little little slime guys here, though I could easily kill. Boom. There you go. Just keep them at bay. Uh, I, I guess we'll just go down. I don't, I don't see anything else over here. No no other chests, no other crates or anything like that. I guess we'll just keep going. Just keep going. Hey, oh. Oh, whoa, there's like new music playing. Like calming, peaceful music. Kind of weird for a heckin' cave like adventure or anything like that, right? But either way, boom. Oh, yeah, we got another winter root from that guy. Nice. And we got some iron ore here and some quartz and some amethyst. Oh, wait, no, I thought that was amethyst right there. It's just more, uh, what do you call this over here? More like crystals, I guess you describe it as. We got bats flying around over here still. Ah, uh, boom, got him. Ah, it's midnight. It's midnight already. Did we already find the way down? No, we didn't. Okay, uh, let's break the... Whoa, we got some quality retaining, so we'll definitely want to keep using those. Uh, actually, I don't even think we've ever even used those yet. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Different one to actually use those in general. We can continue getting uh, iron over here because oh nice perfect Because remember from level 40. That's when we had, oh wow I was actually able to use that from quite a distance 
Uh, but from level 40, that's when we're actually able to start using, or, uh, start finding iron. Already found the heckin' way down there, that's amazing. 12.30, definitely want to get out of here before, uh, what do you call it? 2 a or, uh, 1 a.m., it's 44 right now, I can, I can go right now and unlock it, you guys. We got a couple crates here, though, do I want to go? Break that, whoa, magnet ring, whoa, I'm glad I didn't leave, like, immediately right there. Okay, 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 let's go. Oh my gosh, well, I guess that's kind of good, I can go break this crate real quick, and immediately head back down. To layer 45, unlock that, boom, okay, nothing there, okay. Quartz, grab that, go down. Unlock the next one, nice. Okay, let's get out of here. We can come back here a little bit later. It's, oh my gosh, whoops, whoops. I don't think we're gonna make it, you guys. I don't think we're gonna make it, it's 120. It's one heck and 20, I don't think we're gonna do it, no. Man, I tried, I tried my best. We should have just gone. We didn't get anything from that other crate. And sorry, it's 130, golly. 140, what in the world, why are they going so fast? Come on, man. Oh, I thought those were worms right there, 140. Are we Are we going to at least make it to my my farm? 150, come on. I can make it to my farm, I can make it to my farm, I can make it, yes! I made it to my I can farm, I made it, and no one's gonna give me a, no! <laughs> oh man, I passed out anyways. Oh, we had like just over 2,000, like $2,100 right there. Nah, yep, yeah, we did, we did lose a little bit of money. Lost a little bit of money, lost a little bit of stamina there, but at least we didn't lose any items. Apparently, if you pass out in the mines, I read in a comment, uh, if you pass out in the mines, you do lose items. I think that actually happened to us one time, right? Uh, I think we, that was because we got killed, right? Or maybe that, I don't know, am I? I don't remember. That might have been a while ago or something like that. Either way, let's read a mail. We got to, oh yeah, because we got, I could pass out right there. Waffles, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. Well, big, are you surprised there, Harvey? <laughs> oh, you better take care, better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I was about to, I, I, was, I was almost home. At least I passed out in my own farm area, huh? <laughs> you go to bed at a reasonable hour. You uh, billed me $218 to cover medical expenses. Oh yeah, uh, so not too bad there, but we have a, oh, whoa! Looks like whatever these were over here finally sprouted, and I could actually get them and start gifting them to people for their birthdays and stuff like that, so that's good, but unfortunately that one mission for Clint, I can didn't bring to me. We could almost bring Demetrius a uh, melon here in just a bit. I thought these were done, but I guess not. So probably another day until those are done, huh? <sighs> but yeah, at least we made it to level 45 right there. Not not bad, I'm not complaining. I'm kind of actually kind of proud of that. We, we kind of speed run that there at the very end and we only lost like $200 penalty, which was, I guess, kind of uh, what we made earlier on from all the fish and coral or whatever else that we sold. So I guess in the end, it's not bad. And we got to keep all the stuff here. What is this? Magnet ring increases the radius for collecting items. Ooh, that could be good. I'll take that, especially because it was free. And we got an Omni Geode. I guess that, that mining adventure wasn't too bad after all, huh? Interesting. And we have the silo over here, so hey, I, I definitely feel like we have a really, really good, like, like, productive episode today, you guys. Even though it feels like the first half of it, we didn't really get much done, but I feel like we kind of redeemed ourselves on the second half. Getting the silo done, getting all this grass out of here, and, well, oh, just a little bit right here I missed. Yep, there you go. And of course, we have a lot of hay. Let's actually go check how much we have before I actually end off this episode right here. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to continue getting rid of a bunch of grass, getting rid of a bunch of trees and stuff like that. This is almost full. So I guess if it's full, I, and I and I sickle the hay, like, do I pick up the hay at that point, or does it just nothing happens to it, like beforehand, before we had the silo, and I I sickled the hay or I sickled the grass, and I, literally nothing happened out of it. That's probably what's going to happen once this is full. I probably need to get another silo or upgrade the silo. I wouldn't be too surprised, but we'll look, we'll, we'll worry about that next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below, and if you guys want more of these videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way YouTube sends you a notification. Oh wait, whoops, that was the wrong thing. I skipped the skipped a step right there. <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new video comes out so you never miss one. This is what I wanted to check real quick uh, over here. I need a carp if it's not too inconvenient. 90 gold on delivery, Carolina. I think that's the green haired one, right? And uh, nothing happened there. And then Willie's birthday is tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. So next episode, we need to we need to give Willie like pretty much any fish. Just see like what's he like. Actually, we could we could check that right now. I think we've already given him stuff before, right? Now oh, there he is, right there. What is it? What is he like? He okay. Well, he doesn't like salmon berries, so that's good to know. And he's okay with clams, so maybe I'll give him that. And he's okay with sunfish and smallmouth bass. Uh, Why did I give him that? What? It's kind of weird. Why did I gift him that? I feel like I just sold him that, but maybe it ended up there anyways. All right, we don't, we don't know what he actually likes. We know what he's like kind of neutral about though, so maybe that's fine, I suppose. 
But either way, we'll worry about that next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.